Here's an idea I didn't think would work. Come on in, welcome to my home. This is a surprise. I will admit I'm filming this after I actually used it. So the footage that I'm putting in is the footage of me actually using this. I'd come across this idea on the internet where they said, hey, if you want an easy way to clean your tubs and showers, uh, use a broom. Yeah, right, use a broom. Let's put some thought into this. What they were saying is a lot of us have problems getting down on our knees or it's just hard to really get into those spots to clean your tub or your shower without, you know, crawling all over the place, turning yourself upside down to clean your tub or shower. They suggested that you take a broom, and I used a synthetic broom. I used a cheap broom, and I mean a cheap broom. Got the cheapest broom that I could possibly buy because I did not think that this idea was, would work. And I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on this idea if it wasn't going to work. So I just went to the store, got the cheapest broom that I could, and then I said, hey, what the heck? So I sprayed my spray cleaner into the tub, then I took the broom and started scrubbing. Added a little water and I don't know why I didn't think this would work. Because it does. It actually does work. When you think about it, you're literally just making a brush. It's just an extended brush. It's on a broom. Yeah. Now, the couple things I would tell you is, first up, only use this broom to clean your tubs and showers. That should be the only thing that it is used for. Don't use this broom to clean your floors. I, I suppose you could, but I just wouldn't. I mean, that's my personal opinion on this. You probably have your own personal opinion on this. Second thing is you want to get a more stiff bristled broom simply because that way it can get in there and like use it as a scrubbing brush. It's just a long handled scrubbing brush. Would I use natural fiber broom on this? Maybe, but I don't think so because I think the dampness of this, unless you could figure out a way to spin it dry really, really well, the dampness on this would break down the fibers faster. You will need to do the normal things that you would do with any stiff bristle brush. You need to wash it, clean it, that sort of thing. Hang it up to dry. Don't put a broom down on its bristles. It just bends the bristles of the broom. It's just crazy. I see this all the time. But don't do that. But this idea really, truly does work. And the stiffer the brush, the easier it is to just, like, be scrubbing with a scrub brush but it's with a long handle. You can use it anywhere. It can really get into those back spaces, those corner spaces. Now, to be fair, since I was doing this quickly, it makes a lot of noise. Because, well, I did hit it a couple times. I hit the side of the tub with the broom. It is a plastic broom, so yeah, it does make a lot of noise, but the effect of cleaning it, or the good, whatever you want to call it, it does clean well. In fact, it cleans really well. It's surprising how well it cleans. All I had to do then was just rinse off the, sup, the soap with the water from the shower, and it was done. I mean, why didn't I think of this before? Why did it take me so long to even come around to this? A lot of people ask me if it works just as well as getting down on your hands and knees with a uh, rag to clean it. Honestly, yeah, it does. Might take a little extra time, but the fact that you're not on your hands and knees to do this, totally worth the effort. Totally. So, yes, on this one, this is really, really cool. And I'm going to use this from here on out. It just made my life so much easier. I'll probably look for a better broom simply because, like I said, I didn't think this idea was going to work. But it worked so well. I'll, I'll get a stiffer brush, and this is just something which I'm going to add now to my cleaning repartee. Rep repertoire. Repertoire? Yeah, repertoire. Uh, so yeah, if you do this, let me know. I would love to know if you've tried this. Let me know down in the comments, and I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe, and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.